In today's video, we're going to be going over the top three Arena 12 decks right now in Clash Royale for the current meta of Season 27 for you guys to absolutely dominate and destroy opponents all through Arena 12 to carry you to Arena 14 and beyond. Massive shout out to you guys commenting these uh, video ideas for me because it helps me see and find out which arenas you guys need. So huge shout out to those of you asking, guys. I I'd love to hear more opinions down below. So if you need some help on any sort of arena, let me know any sort of card. I'll try my best and provide the best decks for that arena or card. So if you enjoy the Clash Royale content, guys, make sure to subscribe down below but without further ado guys we're at 6126 by the way we're doing well so far this season we're gonna be grinding until the end of the season so if you want to watch my uh, live streams towards the end of the season where we're gonna be pushing for a new all-time high definitely stick around for that guys but um we're gonna get started into it here with deck number one as you can see it is a hog rider quake cycle deck now you might not have the uh, log in here you might not have a high level quake but i would recommend you guys level these up because hog cycle is very strong especially this deck here will 100 counter royal recruits it'll take down balloons and lumberjack balloon gets absolutely slapped by this deck because not only does the mega I mean, crush the uh, balloon. The hunter can also destroy balloons. Lava Hound doesn't stand much of a chance, assuming they don't have great answers to your hunter or mega minion. But other than that, guys, this is a very fun deck to play. 3.1 average extra cost provides a very fast cycle. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into battle number one here. Let's go ahead and search for our tournament. All right, guys, we are in our first match with this deck here today. So if you're entering the 12, obviously, a lot of times it doesn't even matter what deck you're using. It all depends on how you play it, guys. So pay attention. Listen to me. All of the play styles of these decks are each going to be different. You have the hog cycle you have some other versions here we're gonna go ahead and go with the hog rider left lane the reason we're doing that is because we see an inferno dragon we want to make sure he can't get a massive push on the right side we're probably gonna see a nato which we do and he's going to get early king to activation guys very good for him not so good for us and we're just gonna go with the hunter in the back try and relax we're gonna see a lumberjack here let's go ahead and go with our mini pack up we're going to cycle to another Mega Minion here, guys, because obviously the Hunter and Mega Minion are going to need to put in some work on this balloon. Now, if he has a free spell, this will be detrimental to us, guys, because the free spell is going to make this much tougher than it normally would have been because our Mega Minion and Hunter are generally going to have to be close to the balloon in order to take him down, guys. So the Mega Minion's going in there. will not get distracted. We'll get a nice hit off on that tower, but overall, this is looking like a very rough matchup, guys. How are we going to deal with all of that stuff in here knowing that he's got the NATO, he's got some certain answers to us? This is going to be incredibly difficult, guys. We're going to need to obviously control this match. Let's go ahead and go with a bit of an earthquake here. Probably could have hit the King Tower since he's already got that King Tower activation anyways. But this is going to be an interesting one, guys. We're going to really need to hone it in and try our best with this. So let's go ahead and go with the Hunter here. Obviously, we have the Mega Minion ready to go if need be. Let's go ahead and go with our Electric Spirit so the Hunter does not die. And honestly, let's go ahead and go with the Hog Rider. Let's go with the Mini Packet potentially because obviously we're going to try and push up here and force out Elixir. We see the NATO. We should have probably placed our Mini Packet because then he would have had to spend so much more Elixir on this thing. But the Lumberjack does come out. Now, that's a really weird Lumberjack, guys, because we can just Mega Minion this and hopefully take it all down. Now, if he does go with a Freeze spell here, probably going to be Tower Down unless he can't Freeze everything. But I'm guessing he's going to be able to, guys. He's definitely got the Freeze version up in here. So we'll see what he does there. The Mini Pack is going to do some work on that left side, kill the Buller completely. And although the Balloon got a shot off, guys, not going to be the end of the world there. Mini Pack up, Mike, and hey, he will. That is going to secure us nearly the lead. And we're going to go ahead and go with an Earthquake here. Beautiful stuff, Mini Pack. That is keeping us in this thing, honestly. Let's go ahead and go with the tower here guys we're gonna just try and cycle we're gonna go for the log we're gonna keep taking the tower damage that we can get because obviously we're gonna get a little bit of damage from this let's go ahead and go with our hog rider let's go with our electro spirit let's push up and then let's go with another earthquake here guys so he does go with the nato but the earthquake will do some constant damage on that bowler which you obviously love to see now we're gonna go ahead and go with our um, mini packet right here our hunter out here we have enough for the bomb tower kite which is going to be beautiful here guys going to distract this balloon he does go with that free spell which we did anticipate as long as this balloon does not take our tower we're going to be in a decent spot here guys let's go ahead go for our mini packet because even though this is going to do quite a bit of damage to us hopefully the mini packet will one shot this bowler which it does it is able to do so and now we can go with the hog rider here he's hopefully going to be in a rough spot because he just went with the nato on offense i'm not sure if he'll be able to nato this guys or deal with this if our hog rider get one shot off there we would have been in a great spot not going to happen sadly we go with our really early mega minion we're gonna go ahead and go with our hunter here can the hunter and mega minion take this out he's gonna go for the freeze but the hunter does kill it that is massive guys he's going to go for the nato here almost definitely and we're gonna go ahead and go with our electro spirit no he's gonna save the nato for some defense which honestly is a smart play but will he be able to deal with all of this the hog rider coming in the mini pocket coming in guys he's gonna need a nato this the earthquakes comes down he's gonna have to lumberjack this the mini pocket almost gets a shot off on that tower guys and all this is gonna take is one more quake spell potentially or a hog rider this is a very close match 
obviously he's got some great answers. Can he nade all this hog right away, guys? Or will it win this game here? Wins us it. Let's go. What an awesome match, dude, for a game number one arena 12 deck here. Game number one, match number one. It's gonna be a banger match. Leave a like on the video for that, guys. You're not gonna want to miss these next two decks. They are also incredibly strong. So as you saw there, the hog got a cycle. It's fast enough to the point where he was not able to keep that NATO's in cycle with our hog. Obviously, we played it just right. We had just enough air counters to do exactly what I said, guys. Kill the lumberjack balloon, even though we had the freeze there, which actually complicates things pretty majorly. We were able to kite the balloon and keep it off of our tower for the most part. And as long as you don't let him get that major freeze value, it's certainly still possible to win with this deck here today. So awesome match for game number one. You see the power of this deck, guys. And for match number two, deck number two, it's going to be a 2.6 average likes a roll hogs deck. If you have the um, what, what, if you have the Royal Delivery, you can swap that in for the Valkyrie, but I like the Valkyrie version, guys. She's such a good tank on defense to have, and the 2.6 average elixir cost, guys, oh my goodness, it's a crazy fast cycle. It's gonna lead to a lot of overwhelming wins, especially if they don't have a great answer to your Royal Hogs, there's really nothing they can do. So, Alejandro here, good luck, man. He's from Request and Donators. Well, let's see what he's got in store, guys. So, he's going with this right off the bat. We're gonna go ahead and snowball. We're gonna go ahead and Valkyrie. We'll take this all down. We do have a spectator shout out to you. Let's give him some love. And we'll see if we can push up here, guys. We gotta really find out his deck. Obviously, when you're using Royal Hogs, you really do not want to see a bomb tower. But with this deck, what makes it so cool and unique is this deck makes it all possible. Because with the Quake spell in here, you can take down certain buildings. Now, he went with a log there. So we're just gonna toss down some Royal Hogs and hope for the best, guys. If we see a Scar Army, we can Earthquake. He goes with a Fireball. He's not only got Cannon, but he's also got Fireball, which is gonna be complicate things for sure, guys. Because obviously, we gotta be very, very careful now. Um, since we do know that he's got not only Fireball, but that Cannon to do some work on us with. So let's go ahead and Electro Spirit. Let's go ahead and Snowball. We'll go ahead and go with all this. This is a really, really unfortunate defense, guys. Almost leading to so much damage there, but we were able to get everything down. So really bad there. Obviously, I thought the Electro Spirit and Snowball would kill the Wall Breakers, but apparently not. And that caused me to freak out a little bit. We spent a little more Elixir than we should have. But nonetheless, we are actually in a decent spot here because we can Quake him down. We'll have to find out if he has any sort of Rocket Cycle or anything else besides those Wall Breakers. But we'll make this... Um, um, this will be a very interesting matchup, though, because obviously he does not appear to have the greatest of answers. Let's go ahead and go with some skeletons here. Let's go ahead and go with our Valkyrie. Um, the bandit guy is going to get some shots off because our other tower will not be able to help because of the miner. So honestly, well played. We'll let this Valkyrie walk on off, guys. We'll go ahead and potentially go with like just an Electro Spear here to try and speed this Valkyrie up. We're going to go for a Princess. And we're gonna quake if he goes with that cannon, guys. So the princess can nails those spear gobs. He does end up logging, and the Valkyrie will get a hit off on that uh, musketeer, which is everything we could have asked for, guys. Let's go ahead and quake that. We'll go ahead and also snowball this if he gives us the value we desire. He's going to. Let's go ahead and go with our snowball, guys. And we can go ahead and one unit skeletons this, and then just Valkyrie. So the skeletons will deal with the wall breakers. He's not gonna have a good enough answer for that. And then the Valkyrie will take care of the miner. So we have to be very careful. We really do need to get our Royal Hogs onto this man's tower, but it's not gonna be as easy as it sounds, guys, because as you see, I mean, these Royal Hogs, we're gonna try and split them up real quick. Um, we're gonna split up these Royal Hogs. We're gonna go for an Earthquake right here. Beautiful Earthquake, guys. We'll catch the cannon and the Musketeer, and we'll also snowball this Musketeer, guys. So he does get some pretty nice value there. Let's go ahead and go with the Valkyrie here. Just knowing that he's gonna go with that uh, Wall Breakers there is obviously essential. Able to deal with those Wall Breakers immediately. We'll go with another Princess right out of the gate. Deals with those Spear Goblins really nicely. He's forced to go with a Log, and in which case we can just go with an Earthquake. We're catching up slightly. Slowly, but surely, we're catching up, guys. We're gonna go ahead and go with our Valkyrie here. We do, uh, we are able to take this out the biggest risk we run right now is um these wall breakers connecting which they both will no valkyrie lots us down N big misplay there on our end guys let's go ahead and go with our um we need okay so this is obviously not a good matchup because i mean i don't know how we're supposed to break through here we are going to go for a defensive earthquake and snowball um but yeah no we cannot break through this guys we cannot break through um because he's got the fireball right he's got the fireball he's got the cannon which is honestly all he needs um, so the cannon will come down here. We can go ahead and quake, but it's not going to be enough, guys. This is going to be a very rough matchup for us. All he has to do is fireball. Um, we do quake that. Not going to be enough here, like we said. Let's go ahead and go with our spear guys, though. Miner's going to be coming down any second, so let's go ahead and go with all this. Um, let's snowball with skeletons. We do barely stay this, but it's not going to be enough, guys. It's not going to be enough here. Yeah, now game. Overall, an unfortunate matchup. This deck certainly can work, but we're going to leave this in the video to show you guys exactly why things can get rough for us. So let's take a look at the matchup here, guys. As you saw, Alejandro here 
he had such a fast cycle, if not faster than us. I would like to see his decks. Yeah, so 2.9 average elixir cost, pretty much the same as us, guys. So we weren't able to outcycle him effectively. The defensively, guys, we don't have a building to distract those wall breakers, making it extremely difficult to deal with them in an elixir way because obviously he can log our skeletons, he can log our snowball, and the snowball is not able to kill the wall breakers fully, leading to a very rough matchup, guys. So we'd have to overcommit on defense every single time, allowing him to really just just destroy us that match not too much we can do there and that's all good but overall this deck is gonna absolutely crush for you guys assuming they don't have a deck like that where they completely counter your roll hogs because obviously the roll hogs are your main way of dealing tower damage and with the miner in there we weren't able to do as much damage as him and then those wall breakers connected because our valkyrie is ultimately too slow so that's all good very fine match but overall we're gonna start this thing off and end it off on a very strong note guys the pekka bridge spam uh not so much bridge spam but the pekka log bait deck here the pekka bait is going to be one of the stronger decks in arena 12 because it'll completely counter any golems any electro giants you might be facing so if you're having issues with that guys use this deck here the pack is an incredibly strong card because it shuts down many win conditions the electro wizard defensively is one of the best cards the bats can be supportive behind that pack and get so much value the one unit skeletons are here to cycle the snowball can deal with things like goblin bells and also crush things for your pack and it can also reset inferno dragon that might be able to fry your P.E.K.K.A. along with the Electro Wizard, meaning this deck is so strong in terms of synergy and its Elixir cost. You don't see a whole lot of P.E.K.K.A. decks with 3.3 average Elixir cost, but this one is there. And the uh, Goblin Barrel, obviously, with the Skeleton Barrel, can provide so much bait value if they throw down their log. You'll be able to just toss down your Skeleton Barrel and ultimately get so much value here, guys. So, it's a very strong deck overall. Let's get a one final match and one final victory in here to show you guys these top three Season 20... Uh, no, what am I saying? Top three Arena 20... 12 decks for season 27 guys let's get it going doo doo lima good luck sir let's see what he's got going on guys from brazil let's go first play i normally like to go with either the goblin cage or the goblin barrel we're gonna go to the goblin barrel here and luckily we did so because we're gonna need this goblin cage here for the royal giant guys now we're obviously hopefully able to cycle to our pekka so he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot here and normally you want to go with a big stuff with the goblin cage here but since we know we have the pekka we're gonna be very very patient here we see a couple piggies spawning that is all good guys and we're gonna go ahead and go with our pekka here it is not going to target the mother witch which is all good the pekka will 100 percent slam this royal giant guys and we're going to be able to go with a uh we're going to be able to go with the skeleton barrel here the pack is going to tank if he goes with anything to deal with our skeletons we're just going to go with a very deep skeleton barrel here um and the fisherman's going to be decent it's not going to be the best he's able to zap but you guys can see that people in arena 12 and beyond are really not going to be prepared for what this deck uh, has to offer guys the only way he beats us here is if he's able to outcycle us but even if he were to place his rg right now which would be very bad for us we would be able to use our bats able to use our goblin cage and even slow it down with our electro wizard so we're feeling very strong uh, very very good about this dude feeling very strong um so let's go ahead and go with our bats let's go ahead and just goblin cage this this time so you guys can see the power of this obviously he's gonna get a bunch of piggies here which is not gonna be ideal but the rg gets absolutely slapped and we'll go ahead and go with our snowball as well to snowball that mother witch back she will ultimately go down and as you can see the rg does not get a single shot off on our tower and that's not even using our pack out which will um the pack obviously will be your number one way of dealing with that so we absolutely shut this man down defensively absolutely crush here and obviously if need be i mean hey the uh, mother witch is not the best thing against our deck but you can certainly use that skeleton barrel to just distract her while other units take her down so let's go ahead go with our goblin barrel let's go with our skeleton barrel let's be aggressive here guys and we'll also go with some skeletons in the pocket to just create some chaos and this skeleton barrel will ultimately land right on top of those things guys which will do a bunch of damage to them and actually almost take down that entire electro wizard awesome 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 stuff let's go with the electro wizard of our own let's go with some bats um so our bats and electros will be able to overwhelm this let's go for all of this um, Goblin Barrel will provide some good value for him there, guys. Let's go ahead and snowball this. Probably going to see an RG any second now. We do. Let's go with our Pekka. Let's go with our Skeletons, guys. Pekka's going to distract. The Pekka gets uh, ziplined back by the Fisherman. Not going to be ideal there. And as long as our Pekka deals with the Mother Witch, we'll actually be able to all be all good here. So he does a bunch of damage there. Um, that Fisherman play is obviously very, very good. Let's go ahead and go with our Goblin Cage, though. These Piggies are spawning left and right. We really got to be careful with this one, guys. Let's see if we can hold on. Because, oh my goodness, he's doing stuff. Stuff, guys he is doing stuff here the fisherman should come down if he wants to be a smart player here 
Um, but we are going to see it. It's going to be just too late, though. Let's go ahead and go with the bats, like we said. And this will actually end up probably being an extremely strong counter push. So although it looked rough there for a second, I mean, our counter push here is going to be unstoppable, guys. There's just no way for him to defend these uh, goblin barrels, the pekkas, the uh, skeleton barrels. Just not going to be an easy way for him to deal with that. So that's ultimately going to be lead to what would have been a three crown, guys. I don't think he would have stopped that push there. But overall, a very good game to end it off on, guys. Ending it on a high note, even though we had that one rough match in the middle, it does not mean that our second deck of the day is a strong... Uh, a weak deck. It does mean, though, that it certainly has its matchups. you got to be careful. If they have answers to the roll hogs, you're going to be in a rough spot. But overall, guys, you can see these decks absolutely crushing uh, against those opponents today. In Arena 12, you're going to have a lot of luck with them. And if you have any deck suggestions or you need to, uh, maybe you don't have an Electro Wizard, let me know down below, guys. We will try our best to swap in cards for you. So if you have a high Electro Dragon, that certainly could be a, a viable spot in the Electro Wizard spot. Or Guards, or something else that can definitely deal with air units. So a Musketeer could be alright. Something like that even a baby dragon would be decent, but Electros is obviously going to be a very unique card in this spot, so I would try and swap him in if you can, but overall, all these decks links are going to be down below in the description, guys. If you'd like to copy them down, definitely make sure to do so. If you're going to use any of the decks, make sure to subscribe down below and leave a like to show your support, but I really appreciate all the support lately, guys. I thank you so much for watching until the end. Have a great day, everybody. Master Diddy-san, out.